Okay, I'm getting ready to take this golf cart down to the local dump to uh, get rid of some uh, household garbage. And I thought I'd make a little video uh, about this golf cart. It's a uh, club car. It's about a 2004 uh, four cycle gas engine. And uh, it's been jacked up a little bit. It's got some fairly wide tires on it. It's two wheel drive. We've made some additions to it. Really pretty cool. Golf Two wheel drive would go just about anywhere. We've added some LED lights. You can see them right there in the front. Uh, when we got this thing, it didn't have a windshield, so we added the windshield. Right now, I got the windshield down because it's uh, summertime. It's kind of hot here in South Georgia. And uh, we added a rear view mirror. You can see that there. Gives you pretty good uh, visibility when you're going down the road. And make sure nobody's coming from behind you and run over you. Some of these idiots on the road nowadays you have to be real careful. Uh, we added a, a top that allows you to uh, drop down these curtains around the perimeter of it for wintertime use. You can see right here, these things just unsnap and these clear windows just roll down and then zip up on the sides and it really cuts a lot of the wind out when you're riding this thing in the winter time. It makes it a little more bearable. So when you close the windshield up and you roll those sides down, you're almost like being inside of a car. Although you have little leaks here and there so you feel some air coming through but it's not like just riding without any uh, sides at all. Uh, this thing here you can put about four people on it. You see it's got a seat in the front for the driver and the passenger. And then here in the back, it's got like a, uh, a pickup body, which is where we got our trash there in the back of the pickup body part of it. But if you lift this up, it's got a seat cushion there. And you can fold that on back and make two more seats back here. It's got a nice place here, a diamond plate. Put your uh, feet when you're riding it. So you put about four people on it, maybe five even. And then we added some lights back here. When the headlights come on, these uh, running lights come on as well. And then I have another switch that uh, flashes these lights. So like when you're using it on the highway, uh, the lights will flash and bring attention to you. It's got a little area back here in the back that we keep some of our yard tools, garden tools. It's, uh, it's really pretty cool. It'll do about 15 miles an hour, maybe a little bit more. It's got the big wide tires on it. And you can just take this right across a plowed field. I mean, mud will stop it. Mud will stop just about anything, but just a plowed field that's got some high berms and dirt and sand and things, it'll just power right through it. And uh, take a look at the inside here. That's the switches I was telling you about. Added those switches in there right there. One turns on the headlights and running lights, and the other one turns on the flashers at the rear. And then just above that, it's got an oil pressure indicator light. And if you're running low on oil or if your oil pressure drops off, the light comes on. And of course, the, the switch that turns the thing on, on or off. And then over here, you've got forward and reverse and neutral. It actually just shifts the transmission in reverse or dry or, or forward rather and then over there it's got a little button you push for choke which uh, I've used it just just to be using it but really even on the coldest day you just turn the key on this thing fires right up runs really nice You've never had any trouble with the running running of it or anything and we'll take a look under the under the seat here this is where the engines at that's the engine there. It says club car on it, but I think it's like a Kawasaki or maybe some sort of a Jap motor of some sort. I don't know. It's got a smaller uh, size car battery. If you only use that for like the starting, when you push the pedal down, it cranks the motor over and then it runs and charges the battery. And over in this area here, you've got the intake tube that comes from the carburetor. And in there is the air filter. 
and then on the other side of the air filter it has a, a little tube that runs out to in front in front of the driver there that picks up the air from like where the front wheels are at kind of gets rid of some of the dust and debris before it actually gets to the filter and then let's see if we can take a better look at the it's got your basic you know Salisbury clutch type deal or a torque torque converter type of arrangement centrifugal clutch and then as the speed comes up that belt changes pitch on that pulley there changes your speed maintains a torque so you can go up hills and power through some heavy heavier stuff and then it's got the gas tank right here the gas tanks pretty big I'd say it's probably about a five gallon and this thing runs forever on a on that tank you can just go and go and hardly uses any fuel at all this is some things that I added on that's the flasher that's the flasher I added for the flashing rear lights it goes to the switch up front and the lights in the back and this is just a fuel pump I didn't add that 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 was already on there it brings fuel from the tank here over to the carburetor and it's got the oil dipstick there engine runs really well never had any trouble with it we've had it four or five years now so I'm gonna jump on and take a little ride give you an idea of what it sounds like and what it runs like go ahead and turn the key on Okay, and I'm already in forward. All you gotta do is put the pedal down, motor cranks up, and you start to move. You see, it's pretty quiet. Take a little ride out here. Actually, drive is pretty good, even being jacked up like this. You do have to be a little bit careful. Those wide tires, if you're going down the highway and you hit the, the white line on the edge of the road kind of wants to get a little squirrely but uh, I've done some work to it on the suspension some of the suspension parts were worn out I replaced them and seemed to fix that or at least help that problem a little bit you can see it rides along pretty good I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get on it and let you know or let you see how it how quickly it picks up speed it's really pretty fast I think the motor's only like nine horsepower or something Okay, I'm gonna get on it. Put it right to the floor and it won't, it won't blow it up. It even accelerates pretty quick. This thing moves, I'm going to tell you. Just back, back off. Let off the accelerator pedal and it just conks out and that's it. Thought you'd enjoy this video. Probably a lot of on YouTube just like this though, actually, but it's uh just thought I'd share it with you. It's pretty cool being jacked up like it is and everything. I think the uh the spindles here it says Jake's. Must be somebody that makes uh parts to jack them up. You can see the spindles look like they're dropped down. Tires are so wide they just barely fit. You can see right there how close that is and this golf cart here has a rack and pinion steering so the steering is really pretty good so anyway I figured I'd just share that with you hope you enjoyed the video